Hello everyone, my name is Fatma Lamar. Today I'm going to be talking about the UTS building by Frank Gehry. To start off with, I'm going to provide you with general information about this building. So the building's location is in Sydney. The architect himself is Frank Gehry. I wanted to introduce you to this building since it is the most known for its curvature and the brick pattern that it has, the glass panels that are applied within that building and the skin of the facade. So the project's elements are broken down into five elements. The first element is the mass and form. The second is the windows. The third is the glass panels. The fourth is the skin. And lastly, the fifth is the brick pattern. So the first element is the form and mass as it is generated using two curves from Rhino, a bottom curve and a top curve that are lofted in Grasshopper. And this definition is repeated eight times since we have five upper floor slabs and uh, three lower uh, floor masses. Moreover, the slabs of the building, they're generated using two curves from Rhino, a bottom curve and a top curve. So the slight difference between uh, the slabs and the masses is that the slabs were extruded and capped using b rep to give the slabs thicknesses uh, in Grasshopper. These are the upper slabs of the building and these are the lower slabs of the building. Second element is the windows as they are generated using the definitions below. The first battery is the contour line to adjust the windows and we use the weaver bird mesh definition to create the rectangle of the shape of the window, the thicknesses and glass frame of the window. Moreover, the third element is the glass panels. The glass panels of the form are generated using surfaces from Rhino and turning them into B-Reps and Grasshopper. The panels were created using meshes and weaver bird for thicknesses of the glass. The outline of the building, the outline of the form is generated using Kangaroo. I generated this pattern to create this uh, curvature of the building as we would see it extensively for Rhino and Grasshopper. So I created the outline of the building uh, using that definition and I extracted the volumes and windows within uh, the definition of the outline. The fourth element is the skin. So the skin of the building, the skin of the form is generated using graph mapper which is considered as the main element in constructing the skin of the facade. So this is the skin definition. Lastly, the brick pattern. So the brick orientation is used according to graph mapper. We change the direction of the bricks in order to give it an effect where uh, Frank Gehry has created and designed his building uh, as these bricks are tilted, but we wanted to create a parametric model and uh, orienting the bricks using these graph mappers and changing their direction. The brick pattern is generated using the definition below. We first started with a curve to generate the alignment of the brick, and then we used the graph mapper to orient the bricks. So this is the final result in Rhino and Grasshopper. First of all, I wanted to show you the outline of the building by using uh, kangaroo physics. And when I generated the outline, from the outline itself, I extracted the um, the volume of the building itself and then using this volume uh, I created these windows wanted I wanted to show uh, how the facade itself the skin is an important factor as when we as when I try to play around with it it would give it an effect where it's moving the facade is moving so it actually looks cool and uh, it's interesting okay so let's move on to the outline i wanted to show you the outline of the building using kangaroo solver kangaroo physics like i wanted to have the exact curvature so i used the kangaroo physics to apply that it would give me an exact curvature of the building Moving forward, we would have uh, the volumes and the windows of the building itself. And the upper structure is basically, uh, we have the kangaroo solver. I extracted the exact curvature of the building. And 
uh, moving forward with the volume and the windows I use two types of graph markers. I use sign simulation and sign. The difference between these two is that the sign simulation uh, gives us a slight flow of uh, curvature, but uh, the sign gives us an extreme, like it would really show. Yes. So when you look at it, it has, it creates the curvature of the building. But the lower part, when we use we use sign simulation, it would has a huge difference. It just gives us like a slight curve, not like the sign.